Now, what is this, uh, what is this thing you do? In Cantonese, Jeet Kune Do, the way of the intercepting fist. all life as I do, not in years. You know, you could live to be 80 years old and never accomplish anything in your life. And what have you gained? Where in his short period of life of 32 years, he gained, he achieved a lot in his life. I think his fan base is probably bigger than it's ever been as, as younger generations begin discovering him. And, and obviously there's that emotional feeling that, gee, I wish I'd known him. I've had so many people say, oh, you're so lucky you got to know Bruce Lee. And they're right. So I would say, that while we've lost Bruce Lee, uh, and sadly his son Brandon as well, what, we, what you really need to focus on is how lucky we are that we had him. How lucky we are that we had him for the 32 years we, that we had him. How lucky we are that we have the 20 films he made as a kid, 
and the five films that he made as an adult, and how lucky we are that at least he lived long enough to do Way of the Dragon, and, uh, and his two subsequent films, Game of Death and Into the Dragon. So I think if we focus on the positive, on the fact that at least we had him long enough, did he get to fulfill his, his uh, genius? No. Did he die too young? Yes. But I would say that I personally am honored and, and thrilled and happy that I, that I, and I'm blessed that I got to be in three Bruce Lee films and that, that he was my friend. There's only one Bruce Lee, but all the director, martial art director, want every actor becoming a second Bruce Lee. The way, the way you pull, the way you fight, nobody can do it for you. But the audience, no, he's the best. There's only one Bruce Lee in this world. It's not possible to have another one. If anybody wants to be a Bruce Lee, it's not possible. I feel an absolute um, soul level connection to um, his uh, philosophies, to his message to the message of his life, I should say. And the fact that I get to share that then with, and continue sharing that, and hopefully continue to inspire people around the world through that, is extremely satisfying and fulfilling to me. He used to use the term walk on. He said, Dan, if you walk on, you make a mistake, and learn to live a few mistakes, and and to move on, never to look back when you made a mistake. And I think this is the, uh, the greatest things. I think he left, uh, I'll, I'll use the word legacy. His best legacy was that, just uh, to be inspirational, because if you're inspirational with one person, you know, uh, you might be only one person you think, but it, it, you're insp an inspiration to many. Therefore, it makes a better world to live in. So, as corny as it sounds, but it really is true. But I think that's, uh, his legacy that he left to the martial art world. You know, I like to think he, he did, you know. And I think that Bruce would be most proud to say and to have people say about him that he was a real human being who communicated the truth of his art through his actions and his presence on the screen that people could look at him and say, wow, that guy was real. I know he could do that thing. He could make those moves. He would be deadly if he were in person right here in front of me. They knew that about him. Maybe they're not able to say that or express exactly what it was about him that uh, turned them on so much or inspired them. But it, it was because he was the genuine article. He was that person in the films. He was not a different person off screen than he was on screen. He was vibrant and he was full of life and he was the real thing. And I think that really comes across and inspires people to want to better themselves, be a better martial artist, a better person, a more real and genuine person.